Hi. Hi. I'm Jess. Adam. Paul. Paul. Paul is a client of ours. He's come to the office, got a cup of tea in our hand, and we're going to talk about your property journey. It's done coffee, actually. It, well, we've, we've just had a bit of a disaster with the coffee machine, but that, that's... Uh, you know a lot about property, but not so much coffee. <laughs> um, so, Paul and I, we, we only met last night, didn't we? Um, you've been talking <coughs> for how long? Oh, three or four years? Yeah. More. Yeah. Five years, yeah. Five years? Um, so Paul's a client of ours, handhold sourcing client, and this is where I get to hear about how things have gone for you. Um, ask you a few challenging questions. Ooh. We want it warts and all. We want it. We want it. Yeah, exactly what happened, how it happened, um, and, and uh, yeah, from from your point of view. So yeah. um, take it away. Yeah. What, what what we're aiming to do is to show your experience and, and, and how it's gone, oh. how it could go for you guys if, if that's something that you're interested in doing. And um, yeah, get, a, get an informed picture instead of it just being us saying, oh, we're, we're brilliant, we do a great job, etc., etc. Paul's going to tell you that. Well, <laughs> well let's Isn't see. It? Let's see. Let's see what I do, eh? Has Adam done a good job? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, well, the, I don't know. I guess the first thing is then, how did you find us, come across us? Well, yeah, basically, I was like a lot of people. Though. I got a bit of hole in my pension, you know, I'm thinking, oh, I better fill that. So, uh, ex oh, about eight years ago, so I, I started looking around at, you know, property renting i didn't know nothing i didn't know nothing about it so i thought right so i went on the internet and i'm having a look and there was a lot of companies so i went to these seminars some were big some were small mm. and i was you know and they're, they're trotting it out and i thought okay fair enough and then i signed up for a little course with one of them while i was there there was a young lad there and i overheard him saying oh, i've just bought this property through this company oh, you, yourselves yeah. yeah and uh Anyway, he was really positive about it, and I just, in the dinner hour, I just had a chat with him about it, and he was really positive about it. So I thought, oh, okay, so I sort of made a mental note of you guys. Then, about six months later, I was at another guy, and there was a guy talking, and he was a, he was a pretty, he had a pretty big portfolio, and he was discussing, like, renting, letting. But he had you guys, as the, the agents, that you managed a lot of his properties, whether or I don't know, but he was, so at the end, I had a chat with him, and he was positive as well. So now I thought, I'm going to have a chat with you. Oh, nice. So, um, two, two yeah, I mean, we're going back a long yeah. while. Like, as oh, I say, yeah. by then, it was probably five years ago, That's six right. years ago, something like that. So then I rung up and spoke to you, Ed, didn't I? Yeah. That was the first port of call. I literally spoke to you, got chatting, and then I'd seen you on, I was watching you then on thing, and you used to be in your car then. Just mooching along to various things. Lawrence, Lawrence told me to do more car videos. Well, it was very natural, and that's one of the aspects of it. It weren't all upsell, upsell, real nipped and tucked, like sell, sell, sells. Mm. It was really natural, and that come across to me. That was quite an attraction, if I'm mm. honest. And and then and then like I spoke to Ed, and same again. It weren't like oh right, come to daddy sort of thing. It was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was yeah, yeah. it was natural. Sure. So we had a chat. And then you said to me, well, you know, we've got a price point that we come in at back then. It was yeah, sort of yeah. a different price point and stuff. So you explained the, the, the thing. And I thought, okay, sat down, come up with my money. And then it was really, really straightforward. I did the handheld. Like, I'm just too lazy. And I'm down south, obviously, you probably can tell. Yeah. And you guys are up here. And I just needed the handheld. I, I got a job, I worked. And I just thought, yeah, this could work. And hold services when we source, renovate, and then manage a house for you. So, so what made um, what made you comfortable then buying a house in the northwest of England when you lived down in London and not having a go in there? Have you still never been to that one, have you? Never been to that one. No, I know you've not been to the second one either, have you? I've never seen any of them other than the picture. Yeah. Yeah, and um, well, one, I'm I'm fairly all right with risk. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't flap up th things like that. And I looked at it and I thought, well, I've got to do something. But just the way you used to come across, without sounding too cheesy, it was like that. I thought, yeah, no. And you really was, you went right through it and showed me all the, the, the deal breakdown, mm. how it works, uh, even the structure of like when you go into a property, how you break down the deal, how it would be project managed, and st the whole lot, and it, it just come across correct, and it's stacked. So I just did that. <coughs> so when, you know, and being up north, some of my family have moved up there. Not that you know, mm. it may. 
but it weren't. It weren't a worry. I couldn't have bought round where I was anyway. So, and I had to take action. Yeah, damn. Almost all of our clients, not, not all Southern, no. but most are, probably over half. Yeah. And any other client is going to be in um, a more affluent area mm. of the country, you know, with, up north, wherever. But yeah. to buy in those bike hotspots, you, you've got to get access to them. And they are, mm. well, I, I couldn't drive 200 miles because the last house I bought is 200 miles away from where we're sat now. Mm. And, um, and yeah. the difference is we've renovated it for you. So we've. Price the work, scheduled the work, contracted the builder, mm. managed mm. the builder, mm. got the house compliant, fully letterable condition, mm. and obviously then you get your updates every week, video mm. updates, so you mm. saw all of that. Um, so that one's bedded in now, you've had that a few years. Um, you've done your second one, which yeah. is slightly different because that you bought the mortgage. I did. Uh, but it still needed a bit of a renovation, so that was a sweet spot. We don't always find them as often mm. and as easily because there's a lot more competition for a house like that. But um, so that one is in actually what sort of South Yorkshire, North Nottinghamshire area, isn't it? Nottinghamshire, Nottinghamshire. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you've done your second one with us now. What's your plan? And now we're looking to, as and when, get me pot again yeah. and we'll go again. And I'll just repeat, I'm not looking to do any other, you know, different, it'll just be rental houses, which I've, they've worked for me. They're really good. And I'll just do another one with you and I'll just add what you've got. Okay, we'll do that. You know, that's literally, I know that sounds simplistic, but it is exactly how it is. It's exactly how it is. It's kind of like we were chatting. But it works. Just keep repeating Obviously, you came down last night and had a few drinks and that. We were chatting about... Oh, He don't look like that normally, does he? You were saying, oh, I'm going to have this this pot of cash maybe next this year, next year. What should I do with it? And then really it was a case of, what what do you want to achieve? Yeah. You know, because what I think you should do with it might be what... I would do if it were me, but you've got to sort of look at it from your point of view too. Because mm-hmm. um, some people try to be too clever and too smart, and really it's a simple, safe and steady way of going about it. Um, mm. So you've got, obviously now, you've got the two houses there, which is with us now being managed. Um, how are you finding the management side of it, with the relationships with, with these guys? Because obviously you've met these for the first time today too. Today here, yeah, faces to names. Yeah. In person, we've yep. spoke a lot on, on video calls and, mm. and phone calls before, but we've never even met in person until no. today. I mean, I'm now designated somewhere. So yeah. Property manager. Uh, yeah, I think it is, yeah. So and Interesting, I'm sorry to cut across, oh, but you've got two houses in two different areas mm. and we, oh, we recognise, yeah. so you yeah. speak to one person about different areas. Mm. Now, when you get 10, 20, 30 houses, and if, even if they're spread all over the country, you'll have one point of contact. Yeah, that's and it, so it's the way we set it up on purpose. Mm. I mean, I've got houses all over the place, one dedicated point of contact. Mm. Just like when you, you renovated the two, you only dealt with me the entire yeah. time on that. Yeah, yeah. We, we always know when, when you've got a landlord, um, they should be speaking to just one person. Mm. And that's the continuity. Uh, there's a point when, a, if a baton's ever passed, it's got to be clear. Like if it goes between handhold and then it's into management, it's like done, done. And that, yeah. yeah. So we, we, we've got clients now where we didn't buy all their houses, but they know at the moment mm. maybe they're managing five or six different letting agencies because they've got houses all over the place. Mm. And that brings, we have, they, they got, can bring them here. We've and got, got quite a few one, clients one, now that, one have, contact. Yeah. that have brought their yeah. other houses across to yeah. us. Yeah. Um, it's happening quite regularly. Just yeah. for that reason. For that reason, yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying management. It, you, yeah. You've got a dedicated point of contact. I think it's interesting, like, for instance, going back slightly in the process of buying the two properties with yourselves, there was one or two little things, but exactly what you said, it was managed correctly. I mean, nothing, you know, there was little hiccups and I get a call, we found a bit of asbestos, da 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 da. It's all done. Yeah. It weren't, there's, you know, like, as I say, my port calls with you, Ed, you, you oh, and it gets dealt with, and it was good. It, it, I really do rave about it. It was really we simple. Weekly updates with the video. The video was brilliant. Yeah. That that is great because like I've never seen these properties, you know. And you see it, and it it was really good, you know. And I even showed some of my family, and they go, "Oh, what is it? Like Coronation Street, isn't it? Probably like you know." <laughs> if anybody's watching this on YouTube, the the videos they're not on this channel. But if you go to For the Landlords, it's called the Renovations Channel. We don't mix it up with all these ones because it's just a load of. Um, very boring videos of a house renovation. So a rip out, literally some of it is watching some paint dry, isn't it? Um, and they don't get loads and loads of views. For the landlord, it's great, it's great but it don't make great viewing, does it? Yeah, it's, it's your it's weekly not, update, isn't it? But so it is you your weekly to watch update. The pro- so throughout the, the, progress. Throughout the progress, uh, throughout the, uh, the, the, um, the project, um, the 
person, the project manager, the guy that's doing it, the contracts manager up there, he takes a video every week of the job and mm. sends it to the client. And it's like you're there almost, isn't it? Mm. You don't have to drive up and see it. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I get the same updates. What you called it. Yeah. And out. Yeah. So you've got one in the northwest, one in North Nottinghamshire. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're based across all the Midlands in the north of England. Have you got a preference now on where your next one's going to be? No. If the deal is good, right. I don't care where it is. Okay. You know, it, it's never been a priority to me. Well, I would the numbers thing for listen, you. Listen, it's to numbers. Me and you will talk. I'll say, Ed, I've got a pot, and you'll mm -hmm. say, right, I think that this could be a good one for you. I'll look at it, do the numbers, and then we'll talk and... Well, you know, yeah, I totally forgot until last night about the one that we were going to buy for you that we had to pull out of. Because yeah. that's quite yeah. well, an interesting yeah. story. Because, yeah. well, it depends what you define as interesting, yeah. I suppose. Uh, but it was if you was their neighbour. Yeah, because <laughs> we were buying this house for you. We sourced it. It's going through the conveyancing. And then I rang you up and told you that there'd been a break in, there'd been a fly tipping all over the driveway. And you said it wasn't just fly tipping, yeah. it was an eight wheel yeah. tipper that had gone yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, 17 because tons on your drive. The person yeah. by, who we were buying the house from had had a family dispute, and their family member had gone and trashed their person's house, broke in, smashed it to pieces, dumped mm. all this stuff on it. So we agreed a price deduction. They, well, they agreed, we, I basically said, right, go back, work out how much it's going to cost to sort it all out, add it to the renovation, and we'll get a price deduction. And then we had another chat, didn't we? And we thought, they're going to do it yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not worth the risk. They're gonna, well, we're going to start the renovation. And then it's in my name, and it's my money that, you know. Yeah, we walked away, yeah. Sometimes they ain't right, you know. Eight, and we just found you the next one instead. There was one other, wasn't there? After, and it went to probate. Weren't nothing wrong with it, but it's just time frame. You know. I think that one came back and somebody else... Probably. Yeah. Definitely, there was nothing wrong with that. It's just timing. And then you just went, oh, look, this one here. And, and yeah. we went with it, and it's been cracking, and it? it's yeah. really worked out great. Yeah, that's well, it's nice. good to hear that you found us through referrals. That's mm. that's great to hear. Mm. Um, you know, meeting at those kind of events is what well, happens a little bit less often now. You know, everything's online, and yeah. you know, hence yeah, doing yeah, videos yeah. like this. Mm. So you know, you're giving a referral almost to you know anybody who's watching this. So that that's keeping that going because most of our clients are repeat buyers and. Almost word of mouth stuff. Mm. I know there's a load of yeah, it comes well, they've in just through. found us on this YouTube channel. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube um, brings in a lot. Um, but then you but, also yeah. use our wider team because you use Charlotte for mortgages, right? Yeah, Charlotte. So mm. she's you've gone through the buy, refurbish, refinance now using her and her team. How was that? She's top girl. She's so yeah. down to earth, like you guys. And I speak to her, and I'm like, I'm not the cleverest bloke in the world. And she just says, "All right, Greeny." Like I saw, <laughs> and she just, you know, she says, oh, "I've got this. Yeah, that'll work." She's like that with me as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah. just, but she speaks to me. She don't always oh, answer yeah, the, phone the phone to you. To you got a call with her, and she didn't call me back, Charlotte. Yeah. You didn't call me back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's great, isn't she? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and do you use her for um, other stuff then? I put her on to my boy, my son. Right. He was doing some own, his own stuff, and he spoke to her, and he said, "Yeah, she's good then." You know, she's she nice and simple to the point down to earth it's just straight to the point it's a lot of the the work that yeah. other brokers expect yeah. you to and do what she does obviously she's got a lot bigger but her team you, you speak they turn it around quick they come yeah. back exactly that really good setup yeah, yeah. she doesn't doesn't yeah. Yeah, literally it, it's just always quick the way that those uh, the, the, the girls are lined up in front it's yeah. like yeah you'll always get response it's always quick it's in the pipeline it gets done the next day or whatever it's, it's, it's done yeah it's yeah good. yeah yeah that's good and solicitors wise they they you know they worked yeah. out all right yeah. i mean yeah it's always because you know they've got the best people and yeah. i just go with what she says and and literally you know people watching this might think god he's a bit trusting but it's worked for me Mm. It's totally worked for me, you know, like, yeah, definitely. I mean, your, your, your team and the people you know, you do a lot of this yeah. and they well, work. We, we yeah. realised recently we're the UK's number one property source. We've yeah. sourced we, more we, properties more. than anyone. Yeah. Really? And we've renovated the majority of them and then we manage them. I think that is probably one of the, the, the things that stand out different. So property sourcing, there's loads of property sources out there in, in, in the country, but generally they'll just find the house and you'll, you'll get the keys you know they there you go and they've given you a little bit of an idea of how much maybe it will co cost to renovate it um they're not a letting agent and they'll give you the name of a builder yeah 
And that's that's not really enough. No. It's not really enough. Fact, you do you've, the you've, 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 you've got to. So well. so when we say we're the UK's number one property <clears> source, I think that it's more. So we're a letting agent and we'll source it, we'll do the renovation and then we'll let it out. So we're buying the kind of houses that we want to rent out ourselves. Mm. I'd buy it myself. Um, we have got a commitment that we're going to do the renovation. We've got teams out there to do it. Um, you know, we can't put a protective mm. cocoon around everything and guarantee everything. It's your house and all that. But there's things go wrong, like the asbestos thing went wrong. Mm. It's, not, it's not wrong. It just goes on contingency. It's yeah. It's exp you, you, you it's put, managed, though, you, isn't you, it? put, you put a level yeah. of expectation that there's going to be some things, some little hiccups, as you call it. But generally speaking, we know that we're going to find it. We're going to fix it. We're going to rent it, and then we're going to look after it for the next, you know, what, 10, 20 years? Well, you know? Cookie cutting, isn't it? You just yeah, yeah. You keep going. So we'll you take just... you out for, yeah, yeah. for a few drinks and, and yeah. dinner as well. You looked after me, please. You looked after me. <laughs> well, good. Well, thanks for that. Yeah. Um, it appreciate crazy. it. And, um, yeah. Cheers, Lev. Cheers, Cheers, thank you. Lev. Cheers, mate. And uh, if anybody else um, wants to take advantage of the sourcing service that we run, Handhold, there'll be a link in the video or wherever else you're watching this, I'm sure. Uh, you can book Stick a, call, a link to my calendar on there. Calendar or something like that, and then you can uh, have a have a call with Adam. That's that's the process you went through. So you'd have seen something, heard something, come to a discovery call, maybe come to a webinar. The next step is a one to one with Adam, and then you can basically book your slot. You can you can say right, source me a house. Off you go. Order, place an order. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. You. Bye.